Then my wife decides to get defensive, saying it's not her fault and that I'm barely around and camp so much, even though I hardly go on trips anymore because she doesn't like it. Welcome back to They Did What, your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go over them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to go over a story titled, My Wife Cheated on Me and Says It's Not Her Fault. And guys, this story is all about a guy, he uh, sounds like I'm putting together here, he's in his 30s. He's been married to his wife for three years and they have a seven-year-old child. And you're going to see in this story, guys, that this guy ultimately is cheated on by his wife. Actually, I don't think it's a one-time incident, I think it's a full-blown affair. And at the end of the day, she blames him. It's all his fault for her actions. You're going to see in this story, guys, that this guy likes to go camping with his son. And he tries to go as often as he can, but he doesn't do it very often. And his wife doesn't like camping and hiking and doing that. So she used to like it back in the day. Sounds like it was a bait and switch thing where she pretended to like the same things he liked. Then got married and then all of a sudden stopped doing that. And so tries to make it that he's the bad guy because he's always away, which is not the case. But ultimately, you guys, you're going to see this guy obviously goes through some hurting, but ultimately this guy is going to be on the path to coming out on top. Now, before I go into the story, what's interesting is that um, this story, by the way, went viral. There was an article written about this, but I said just go right into the story itself. But before he actually wrote this story about what he discovered, the cheating and all that, he had actually written a post before this, and obviously you could see there were some problems brewing. It's almost like he sensed it. So I'm going to read what he'd written before all this went down and then go into the actual story in itself. But this is a perfect example, guys, of a situation story how the guy did nothing wrong and the wife cheated, and worse yet, you're going to see how this guy discovers this and yet still blames him. The gaslighting is just unreal. And I can't tell you stories I've done like this. So it's so important, guys, that if you ever, God forbid, in a situation like this, you can't allow this to go on and you don't let her gaslight you and make that to be your fault. So his prequel, if you will, that he posted was called Sharing Interest. He says here, the wife and I have been married for three beautiful years. Beautiful? Is that what he really thinks? The problem is she doesn't enjoy my hobbies as much as I do. The missus used to happily join me on adventures such as camping or fishing. Now she won't go so she won't so much as go on a simple hike with me. We have a seven-year-old child, and since the kiddo, these adventures have been a little tough to plan and follow through with, which I understand, but it can't be hard on me. So notice he said there, now she won't so much as go on a hike with him. But back in the day, no problem. Bait and switch, in my opinion, she pretended to like the things he liked. Got him to marry her, put a ring on that finger, and all of a sudden, nope, no longer interested. Or has other things going on behind the scenes. He says, I like to get out at least once a week to clear clear the mind, but now that's been reduced around once a month. She is upset every time I leave on a quick trip to the Rockies, etc., because I'm not helping enough with the kid. I've told her numerous times they should both come along, but she never agrees to do this, as she no longer enjoys these types of things. Should I, give up, should I give up on the sights I love to see and adventures I can't help but indulge in? I do want to be there for my family, but I can't cut these things out of my life forever. But that's what she expects of me. Advice is greatly appreciated. So already there's an issue. He's posting on, on Reddit about it to seek advice. Okay. Now, if he was gone all the time, you could see why she is reasonably upset. But it doesn't sound like he does this all the time. And he says once a week he may go on a hike. It doesn't sound like once a week he's going on an extended camping trip. So she doesn't like this. So therefore, instead of communicating in a way that is healthy that about these things, she uh, decides to handle things a different way. And of course, even if like uh, she didn't want him to go camping all the time because, you know, she doesn't want to be alone or not to take care of the kid all the time, there there is a you know, a reasonable compromise, because if you're married, you're going to do that, obviously. But um, the fact is, she's trying to cut things out of this guy's life that he enjoys. That's what happens to a lot of guys, and they cave. They cave to the women doing that, and it, it's crazy. And what happens is, number one, they stop doing the things they enjoy, and they're unhappy. And two, she loses the respect for the guy for giving up on the things that he likes for her. A lot of times, it's a test. And they say eventually say, well, you changed. And he says, I changed for you, because it's what you wanted. Now we're getting into the actual story. He says here, again, the title was My Wife Cheated on Me and says it's not her fault. Uh, This past weekend, the kid and I went on a two-day camping trip for some father-son bonding time. 
My wife doesn't like camping herself at all anymore and doesn't even appreciate our kid and I going. In today's world, I think it's pretty damn important that a son gets some father-son time. He needs to be around a man. Now, you're going to see this guy's obviously a bit on the uh, blue-pilled nice guy side, but he's still having time with a father. And by the way, I've seen a lot of guys that are definitely, they may be pee-whipped and blue pill with their wives or girlfriends, but when they're with guys, they're guys' guys, you know? So a boy needs this. She should be appreciative that he wants to spend time with his son. He says, usually we argue a lot about about my trips, especially if I request to bring our child. But this time she was oddly cooperative about the whole thing, but still insisted she wouldn't join us. Hmm. Now... Normally, she, he said before that she was upset because he'd be gone on a hiking trip or something and she'd be left with the kid. But now there was drama even if he would bring the kid. But all of a sudden, now she doesn't mind. It says here, I was surprised but didn't question anything because I was so excited that she was finally allowing us to go and I didn't want her to change her mind. Allowing? Is that what that guy really said? Right there, there's a clue for you. He doesn't take charge. No guy should have his wife tell him what to do and ask permission to do this or ask permission to do that. Number one, grow some, get some fucking balls. And number two, no woman's going to respect the guy that has to ask her permission to do this and let her allow him. Bad way to go. But he learns. I thought we had finally found a common ground and the arguments were ending. Well, they were ending because of another reason. He says I was wrong. We had a great trip and returned back on Monday. We expected to come home to an empty house as my wife should have been at her office for a few more hours. In other words, they came home early. I walked the kid up to his room as he was exhausted, ready for a nap. Afterwards, I walked into our bedroom to find a naked man in my bed. Oh my God, can you imagine that? I recognized him as my wife's co-worker whom I met numerous times at her work functions. It's always the co-worker. At first, I was in disbelief even, and even wondered if I was in the right house. Then my wife walked out of our bathroom, also naked, and I had no more doubts. She looked petrified when she saw me. I've never been so angry. I yelled at the dude to get out of my house so I could speak with my wife. He grabbed his clothes and left. Then we started arguing. I never yelled at my wife. We always want to keep things civil for our son, but I was hurt and I was screaming. This guy has every right to yell at his wife very loud that the whole neighborhood could hear. And maybe this is also part of the problem. Sounds like he doesn't lay down the law with his wife when uh, she's getting uh, out of line and being disrespectful and being a selfish a-hole. Again, women will never love a guy they don't respect. And so if he's walking around asking his wife permission all the time to, to allow him to go camping or allow him to go on hikes and not give it to her or check her when she's being an a-hole. Now, by the way, I don't encourage screaming and yelling and all that. That's just a, that's a ridiculous way to communicate. But this guy obviously doesn't check her. Goes on, he says, Then my wife decides to get defensive, saying it's not her fault that I'm barely around in camp so much, even though I hardly go on trips anymore because she doesn't like it. Yeah, it's all his fault. It's not my fault that this dude is naked in your bed. I mean, it's bad enough that she's hooking up with a dude if, if he found out that she was in some motel down the street, down at Motel 6 or the Comfort Inn. But the fact that it was in his bed. You want to talk about adding insult to injury. She wants this thing to, 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 to crash. I think this was done on purpose. Done on purpose that he would find out. She says, that's what drove me to do this and you neglect your family. I was in tears at this point. I just don't understand how her cheating could be my fault. It's not your fault, dude. She is a narcissistic, selfish a-hole and she's twisting it around to make you out to be the bad guy. As a lot of gals do to these guys that don't realize this and are weak. He says, I, uh, when I turned around to leave, my son was standing in the doorway and I felt terrible for yelling. I quickly consoled him, but my wife snapped at me telling me to get, get my hands off him. Get your hands off the son you're trying to console seeing his mom and dad fight like this. Mom of the year. Now she won't speak to me and says, I can't see my child until I apologize. Apologize for what? She said we could go on the trip. She planned to cheat, and that kills me. It makes me wonder if she's done this before. Oh, I guarantee you she's done this before. And by the way, what's this? Apologize? I'm sorry that you cheated on me. 
she's the one that cheated. If she was unhappy, she could communicate in a healthy way about these things. They could talk about things. But instead, she decided to go cheat and not just cheat on him, but also cheat on the son. And he's the bad guy. And he can't see can't see her and can't see his son until he apologizes. Get the hell out of here. It says here, it makes me wonder if she's done this before. I'm stuck staying with my parents right now. Smack. What do you mean you're staying with your parents? She cheated. She needs to get her cheating ass out of the house and go stay with her lover. Okay? Why are you leaving your house? Do you see, guys, the weakness? Do you connect the dots here? I'm not saying what she did was right in any way, shape, or form, but this guy didn't help a situation by letting his wife run the show, tell him what to do, asking her permission, and not checking her, obviously. And now he leaves? She can leave. He says, I don't know what to do. I want to see my son. I'm worried. I really scare my child. And of course, I would I would apologize to him, just not to my wife, but maybe it is my fault. It is not your fault, smack. See how these guys can get so worn down? See why these guys need someone like me telling them these things and to be aware of how things really are? He needs to march his ass back into his house and say, this is my house. You get the hell out and you're not going to see our son, you piece of garbage. Now he's a few little uh, edits and updates. He says here, thank you all again for your support. I appreciate it. Sorry I can't reply to everyone, but there's a lot a lot of you and things are tough right now, but thanks so much. In case of any confusion, I am Canadian. Well, I don't know what that means. Maybe Canadian guys are softer. I don't know. He says another update. He says, hello everyone. I'm sorry for the absence. I've been busy. I posted a more depth update in my account if anybody is curious. In short, the divorce is in the works as well as custody of my son. Yes. Now here's this quick update. It says, for the past week, I've been working with a lawyer to initiate the process of divorce and gaining full custody of my son, with the exception of visitation for now until more is resolved. Well, thank the Lord. He obviously went back home and laid down the law, and that's great. A lot of these guys, I was worried for a while, a lot of these guys will try to reconcile and go to marriage counseling. There ain't no reconciliation after this, but she should flat out. She doesn't care about him or the son or anybody but herself. But don't worry, she'll get hers. Things were awkward and tense for the first few days of me being back home. So my wife, using wife to keep things simple and identities private, decided to leave and to stay with the guy I found naked with her. I'm disappointed at the example she's setting for her son, but this makes my decision to divorce even more concrete. She ditches her son to go live with her chatter Tyrone lover. Now, obviously, that's good. She got the hell out of there, but it goes to show. You know, guys... I hear these stories all the time, you know, about uh, how women will uh, break guys. They, they work in prisons, these female guards, and they break the guys out and do all these things. When a woman is truly head over heels for a dude and sees him as the prize and is chasing his validation and has built up a huge attachment, she'll do anything. She will change religions. She will pick up and move, maybe move to another country. She will abandon her kids right here amongst break them out of jail or prison, all these types of things. It goes to show you right here. She's obsessed with that guy's validation, chasing his validation, and will do anything. Right here, destroyed her family, ditched her son. I mean, it's a good thing that she shouldn't be around her son, but making this guy's uh, case easier. It says here, I will continue to share as much as I can if that's what people would like, but of course, court has it, his confidentialities that I must keep within boundaries of. I want to thank everyone for the continued support you all have shown me throughout this tough time in my life. I really do appreciate it. Well, that's really good. This guy can go on this thing and, and tell a story and get support and help. It's amazing how this thing works. And by the way, there was a whole article written about this whole thing that caught on Newsweek. But I didn't read the article. I just jumped into this. So good for this guy. Move on with the divorce. Get rid of her. She's freaking trash. She's poison. And again, total narcissist blaming him for her cheating. It's amazing. Now, I got a few comments to wrap this thing up with. One guy says, uh, so she just dipped out, and not only her marriage, but also her kid, for a co-worker. Sheesh. I hope everything goes your way, man. You didn't deserve that this, and it's not your fault that she decided to jump into bed with someone else. If she felt neglected in your marriage, she could have sat you down and had a conversation about it. Of course, but that would mean that she actually wanted to make the marriage work. She didn't want to make the marriage work. Again, I don't know her age, but I'm going to probably guess by the age of the son, she's probably in her 30s. Okay, and uh, how many gals, they, they pick that nice guy to settle with right here. Then they get married because they can say they got married. 
And the next thing you know, they're cheating because now the other girls are doing that or having open relationships, whatever. It's, it's the cycle. It's amazing. And these poor guys don't know any better. They marry these, these, these harpies and they learn the hard way. But then hopefully this guy really learns and is more selective next time. Ed isn't so pee-whipped. Another guy says, you literally were spending quality time with your son while your wife was screwing another man in your bed. You then decided it was the, for the betterment of your son to move back into that hostile environment while she runs off to play house with her affair partner. You deserve full custody. Way to be a great dad, putting your son first. Well, I'm all for being a great dad and taking care of your kid, but a lot of people think because I want to put my kids first, I'm going to suffer. And that's not right, okay? You take care of your kid, in my opinion, but you don't suffer and be miserable either. And the last one says, you can cheat and leave your partner, but leave your child for an, for an affair. Well, WTF. How is that more important to F than to take care and cultivate a relationship with your child? I just don't get it. I hope you're successful and everything goes well in your favor. Well, I think things will go in his favor. At least I hope so. And I think he's got a convincing case here. Walked in on it in the bedroom. She's now with a lover. Now, you can say, yeah, she abandoned her kid. But then again, given how she is, it's actually a good thing. So, but anyhow, guys. Psalm so Gomorrah 2.0, nothing, nothing surprises me anymore. But uh, I hope this guy learns that next time around, he needs to be, if he's going to do relationships, and you can tell he's a relationship type of guy, it takes a long time to heal from this, betters himself, is more assertive in relationships, more take charge. There's no asking permission bullshit or anything like that. It's ridiculous, you know? And obviously, to check your woman when she's being difficult or unreasonable and doesn't mean screaming and yelling. I mean, if, 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 if it comes to a point that you walk in your bedroom and you see another dude there, then he's got a reason to yell. But aside from that, checking her, putting himself first, not asking permission, and be amazed at the, the, the difference. But at the end of the day, silver lining, she's an a-hole. She's out of his life. I just hope like hell that he gets full custody. But I'm willing to bet you what's going to happen is, is that her chatter Tyrone lover eventually is going to kick her out. And then she'll be back crying and begging and doing the waterworks to get this guy to change his mind. And I'm going to be paying attention for updates to this story just to see if that in fact happens. Because a lot of times that happens. And some guys take him back and other guys say, no way, Jose. All right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.